How's it going everybody? It's the FizzWiz. We are back with another Sonic Infinity Project update. Uh, this video is not going to be quite as long as the previous videos because I'm not going to be going over the vanilla project. We did that last time and then afterward we went over all the things that I had changed and edited on top of the vanilla project, which we don't have to do, so I'm not going to. Uh, this video is just about the things that I have updated ever since the previous uh, video update. So, you know, get our notes here and get started. First things first is the uh, quick step. So the first thing we're going to go over here is the quick step. Uh, right off the bat, nothing has really changed whenever you're doing a quick step at a standstill. Uh, that hasn't really changed, but I had noticed whenever I had been designing levels on my own that designing levels around the quick step or designing segments of levels uh, with the quick step in mind were difficult due to the how far Sonic traveled with the quick step. He just traveled really, really far, and it was really off-putting and difficult to design level around, uh, level design around effectively. So I have effectively halved the uh, amount of distance that Sonic covers in a quick step. You'd be able to see it a lot better, but I have changed the arrows to only last like a couple of seconds rather than uh, lasting forever. So, if you if you've tried to design any levels, you you'll definitely notice a difference. The quick step is shortened drastically. So that's first thing on the change list. The second thing is a death scenario. So if we grab a ring and we hit a spike, bam. So we lose our rings, and we get hit again, bam. It's going to restart the level. Well, not really restart the level. It's going to send you back here in the default spot. Now, if we hit the checkpoint, and then we walk over and get hit, bam. We're going to restart at the checkpoint. So let's go ahead and head on over here to this other checkpoint. Get it. Head back around. Get hit by an enemy. And we're going to reset at this checkpoint instead. Now, one thing, it would, one would consider this a coding oversight, but technically it is. But I actually first saw it whenever I was in the middle of working on this. So if you actually walk through a pre-used uh, checkpoint and you get hit, it's actually going to send you at a checkpoint, despite the fact that that checkpoint's already been used. It's a simple trigger box. You walk through it, bam, it's been reset. And same thing, if I were to walk over to the other checkpoint over there, walk through it, get hit and die, I would restart at that checkpoint again. So, you get hit by this here, bam, restart over here. So, the next thing that's going to be starting up is drowning. Sonic can officially drown. The O2 bar actually means something now. So, essentially what happens is if Sonic is hit at any point in time and he has a ring value of zero... Uh, he essentially a is dead variable is set to positive and then reset to negative at some point in time so essentially what happens is as long as Sonic's air is set to zero the is dead variable gets set to zero meaning he just gets sent back uh, next up on the list here is a death plane you hit the death plane bam Gonna reset. Death plane, bam. Get reset. So now, uh, this wasn't in the original level or original engine because uh, there was no death situation set up. There's no way to die in the original engine, so there was no need to have a death plane. But now there is a death plane. You can set this below, uh, underneath your level, to reset your reset the character you know anytime they fall off so if a player falls off the level or if there's just an area you want them to die as soon as they walk into it bam death plane easy as pie however there is this is very much still a work in progress and i'm going to show you why here now i'm going to destroy all these enemies and collect all these rings and hit the death plane and then respawn and if you look over here, the rings are still gone and the enemies are still gone. That's because the level's not actually resetting. Uh, it is still a work in progress. The level isn't resetting whenever you die. It is simply just destroying the character and then moving it to the last recorded checkpoint. So it's still a work in progress a little bit, but uh, it's, you know, it's functional at the moment. So 
up next on the list is wall jumping. Now, this is one that has uh, <laughs> been plaguing me for the longest time. I've been working on this for a while, and I finally got it in a functioning state. So you can now uh, ideally walk up to a wall at a 90-degree angle. There's about 45-degree leeway here, and that can be edited uh, to your leisure in the blueprints. But essentially, you can now run up against a wall and wall jump. Now, if you noticed, uh, right there, Sonic actually does a little bit of a double jump, and you could probably hear me clicking that on the keyboard, and I'll explain why here in a little bit, but essentially, you can have closer walls like this. No need for a double jump, you just wall jump. Bam. So, that is actually another oversight in the coding, which I... Wasn't 100% sure whether that was going to take effect or not, and it ended up doing so, so I kind of predicted it, but uh, I'm going to keep it in for now. Um, if I get enough feedback and people end up saying, hey, I don't like this, or hey, don't do this at all, then I can actually change it. Uh, you could also change it. I could also sort of teach you how to change it if people want to keep it in, but uh, you want to design a level and you don't want it in. I can make a short tutorial and explain, hey, this is how you... Uh, don't keep it in. Like, this is how you should fix it or change it. It's not a 100% guaranteed fix, uh, but it is a minor fix. So, essentially, you have about half a second to hit the jump button again to do a double jump. And in actuality, you can do as many jumps as you want within this half second. So, I can run up. I can, like, jump three times. But... Afterward, I can no longer jump because there's actually a delay in the settings for how many times you can jump. That wasn't 100% intentional, but it is what it is. So, wall jump is functional. Uh, all of the animations, sounds, and other such things are not done and probably won't be done for a long time. Right now, I'm going for functionality rather than showmanship. As soon as I can get things to work functionally, then I will uh, spruce them up get them functioning 100% as intended rather than just functionally intended. And then uh, at that point in time, it'll just be animation work, uh, sound work, uh, sound design, things like that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's just about it in terms of changes. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is in terms of changes from the previous update video. Uh, so that's pretty much all I've got to show you. So we'll, you can leave a like and subscribe if you really want to uh, support uh, me. And you could also, you know, like and subscribe other Sonic Infinity Project uh, uh, workers. You know, people who are working on it, other people that are working on the project. Definitely go support them because they're uh, doing a lot of hard work on this. And honestly, I feel like, you know, if this gets somewhere off the ground and enough people work on it, it can be extremely helpful to the Sonic community for making 3D fan games. Uh, the Infinity Engine is definitely, you know, one of the better ones out there. I just recently played, oh, excuse me, a fan game on the Bumper Engine, which is another fan engine or fan project built on Unity, and I hated it. I actually do not like that whatsoever. You're inclined to disagree with me, and uh, it's mostly up to personal preference, and that's completely okay. But I would much rather do this and work on this project than the Bumper Engine. So I'm hopefully I'm hoping to get this to a point where enough people can just, you know, pick it up and use it like a, a, a Mario Maker tool, <laughs> you know, just drag and drop, edit a few variables here and there, you know, and if you really know what you're doing, then you can like go in and change a few more of the fine details. So uh, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, you can also follow me on Twitch uh, at the Fizzwiz on Twitch. Uh, there I do... Uh, I do stream a couple of other games. I do stream Sonic fan games. If you have any fan games, you're more than welcome to send them to me. Uh, all streams of fan games are going to be uploaded to YouTube about a day later due to YouTube's po uh, I'm sorry, Twitch's policy. Uh, dev updates are not going to be uploaded to YouTube, though. All developer updates are going to be updates like this one right here. Um, I'm going to sit down, take time to record and edit them. That way I can just get straight down to the point because <laughs> dev, dev streams can run for hours and absolutely nothing can get done in them. So dev streams are purely so we can communicate, you know, live one-on-one -on -one and 
you can help me. I can help you. I can teach you a few things that I know about the Infinity Engine. If you know anything about Unreal, you can teach me. You know, it, it's a working together situation. But you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, just just today, actually, I got uh, followed by uh, the Unreal team themselves. Like, uh, Unreal, the Unreal uh, Twitch channel ran by Epic Games. They actually followed me on today's stream. So that was really, really cool. I hope they stop by again on a future dev stream because I've got a question that um, if you if you've followed me at all and if you've seen me around the YouTube comments and other uh, pro Infinity Project uh, videos, I brought up a specific issue. If you know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. And I'd really, really like to ask them about it because it's definitely going to be an issue that I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, or someone else could take care of it. So if another uh, you know, project worker works, uh, figures out a solution to the issue, which you probably know what issue I'm talking about, get a hold of me, please, so I can fix it on, on, uh, on my version or you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to be releasing an update video, or I'm not an update video. I'm going to be releasing this here in a couple of days, um, probably two or three days after uh, I upload this video, because I want to do a few more tweaks just to, you know, polish it up. Uh, I am going to go ahead and give a copy to a couple of people already, um, mainly for review and feedback and things like that. So uh, once again, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch. This one is obviously much shorter. So, uh, you know, I'll see you guys next time.